Hey everybody, welcome to Zlatibor, Serbia. So Julie had been here in 2017 and thoroughly enjoyed her experience and she could not wait to come back and visit and share this beautiful mountain town with me. Now, we came back in March and it was cold, it was snowy, and unfortunately we had to deal with a lockdown. So we didn't get to experience life in Zlatibor. Our dogs enjoyed playing in the snow. We enjoyed our time together, but we definitely did not get to see this type of life in Zlatibor. So we're back and it's summer and we're looking forward to exploring and getting to know this community in this town. So go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy our experiences and our takes on this beautiful little place. And I do think it's fair to compare this place to some of the areas in Colorado or Utah that people would go to for their summer vacations. And if you wonder where the people from Belgrade or Novi Sad Serbia might go to, well, you're looking at it. And we're looking forward to sharing it with you. drive but uh, Abby got us here this is where we're staying looks like Arya's already out here making a friend and right over here is the Airbnb and we're through this door right there where Katie's coming out of and there's Julie on the inside so the inside is really pretty nice. We've got the fireplace, which we don't need right now since it's in the 80s right now outside. But if you're here in the winter, I'm sure that's gonna come in handy. This is ski country. We have a refrigerator. Julie's making dog food right now. Pretty nice kitchen. And as we come out here into the back, let's see, we have a backyard area. So a place for the dogs to come out. We have an outside place to come and relax and get out of the heat. It isn't air conditioned where you thought it would be, but it's not actually too hot in here. Knock on wood. And so the upstairs, we do not have access to this room here. Got nice storage here. Here's the bathroom. We have the shower. and toilet and a washer and here's the bedroom and we have a storage closet over there so this will be our home in Zlatibor for the next two weeks about a 20 minute walk from the center of town but we wanted to get a place where we had room for are you to run around so that was the thought in locating or going to this location oftentimes we like to be down in the city in the pedestrian area but we don't get neighbors like this when we're down that close so being 20 minutes away and having these types of gracious neighbors that like to come over and visit it's was worth the extra steps and I will tell you, our dogs really enjoyed having this open space in this area. Now, while we are in a rural area, there's a lot of building going on in Zlatibor. So I don't know how much longer this area will remain rural. When you look off in the distance through the fields, you can see the construction and you can hear the noise of building. For some, it's progress. For others, I don't know, it may be taking away a little bit of the charm from the area. But as long as the people want to continue to move here, there'll be building that will continue to go on. So last time we were here, all of this was closed up. Now all these shops are open and 
look at all the people down here just tons of people out enjoying the day this is what we had hoped to see oh, but winter time last time we were here but the lockdown from covid kept us from seeing this part of Zlatibor. While we love Zlatibor, be clear, this is not cheap in comparison to some of the countries we've recently been in and cities. So I'm having a Budweiser here in Serbia, but this is the Czech one. This is the original Budweiser before it was messed up in America. And Julie is drinking blueberry juice, but there's like blueberry chunks floating in there. Yes. It's real. I asked him, I said, it's not just a jar of blueberry juice, right? He said, absolutely not. This is all fresh. So the Czech Budweiser, it's delicious. So try the Budweiser in Europe. Okay, so I've got a tuna pizza and Julie's got a margarita pizza. And I asked for light cheese. So we're expensive tonight. How much was it, honey? Twenty-three ten. Twenty-three ten. So that's about twenty-three bucks. So. Now we've taken you outside of the area in a couple of videos. We took you to Stopicha Cave and did the gondola ride. The world's longest gondola, by the way. So if you haven't seen those videos, check those out. But there's a lot to do right here in the city center of. Zlatibor. There's bumper cars, there's all kinds of uh, amusement rides, but there's the free entertainment. It's easy to see why people can get caught up in just hanging out in the town. So you can plan your vacation towards coming straight here and staying in the town, or you can take some car trips and go outside the area as well. But there's a lot to do here. Julie's got some green pie or spinach pie basically, cabbage salad, got some grilled mushrooms, and what they call some French toast with tomato and cheese. Mm. I am completely stuffed, had my energy drink, some kind of French toast, but it wasn't really French toast, my mushrooms, Julie's spinach pie, cabbage, and as you can see it's pretty much all gone. And our grand total is 1590 Serbian dinar, which is about $16. And I included that Garana drink. As a reminder, Julie and I were traveling the world with our two dogs, trying to share with you our experiences and cost of living as expats in different cities and countries. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe so you can follow us on our journey. Now, as we travel the world, we are using IM Global Medical Health Coverage. We started using this in January. I went ahead and became an affiliated agent with IM Global, so I do have a link for their medical coverage in our video description. If you do choose to get your medical coverage for your travels as an expat, as a nomad, as a missionary, world traveler, I will receive a commission, and I do appreciate that. If you cannot find the video description and find the link, please send me an email at warrenjulietravel at gmail.com and I will send the link to you. Thank you. So, you got zip lines, you got people going through the trees over here, all kinds of little forest trails. Really neat. Neat for a family. Oh yeah, this would be a nice little adventure thing to do. So we have our little picnic blanket out. We're chilling. Aria's out exploring the forest. <laughs> and where's Tater Tots? Right next to us. Where's, where's Katie? Oh, there she is. The queen of the jungle, of the forest. So, Zlatibor is really a beautiful place. It's developed a lot in the last four years, from what we can tell. 
and it still has a whole lot of charm, a whole lot to offer. Um, it isn't what you would call that quiet place of solitude <laughs> until you get a little bit outside of the town. But in the middle of town, it's definitely getting a lot of uh, tourism vibe and a lot of excitement here. Things are going on here. Um, I think when Julie was here in 2017, it was more of a chillaxing place, locals and some tourists, but it's yeah. it's really boomed in the last four years. Would have been great to be in front of this uh, real estate boom. I wanted to, but, <laughs> but we didn't. We had just bought in Montenegro. When I was here in 2017, this place was, it was a paradise up in the mountains. And it's, it's become a, a huge tourist destination, which of course, it's great for the area, but it's so sad to see all the traditional homes and everything that was here are no longer. And it's just high rises galore and people everywhere. So it's not any longer the pure environment it was. It kind of reminds me of um, Gatlinburg, would you think? Oh, without a doubt. The building boom is everywhere. This town is probably doubling, tripling, and maybe quadrupling in size. Don't know if there's a building bubble or if the demand is there, but the place is exploding. And for many people, it's outside the price range for many Serbians. It's hard for us to put our finger on Zlatibor, whether or not it's a good investment. If you're looking for an Aspen, Park City type of lifestyle, and this is going to be a much cheaper location than going to either one of those locations. However, we're not sure if there's a bubble and it is more expensive than many places we've been staying lately. So let's look at a couple things outside of the Zlatibor city area and see what it has to offer. So we came out here, we're going swimming in a little local hangout, it's a stream, river, not far from Zlatibor. The location of the swimming hole was maybe about 20 minutes outside of Zlatibor and it gives you a unique experience to get to mingle and be near Serbians more or less typically from the region that are out to enjoy their day. I wouldn't say this is so much of a tourist place as much as it is a place for locals to come and enjoy themselves. I could see living in this area and frequently in this area during the summer to cool off and get together with friends and have a beer. It definitely is a unique environment. And how often do you see something like this when you're in a beach or a lake in your part of the world? As a reminder, Julie and I were traveling the world with our two dogs, trying to share our experiences with you as expats as we visit different countries and cities. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and please give this video a like if you're enjoying the content. The next stop is a town called Dervingrad, which is a unique town with a unique history and it has to deal with a popular movie called Life is a Miracle, which is a Serbian movie. So we haven't seen that movie yet. We have not been able to find it uh, as far as being able to stream it and to see it with the English version. So we will, but this town has a lot of unique characters to it or characteristics to it. So let's learn a little bit more. Okay. So we found an expert or at least a local that knows about the town here. Uh... Hi guys, I'm Miloš and I don't have a YouTube channel so you cannot follow me. Uh, the film director, Emir Kusturica, starting, uh, started building this uh, town 15 years ago or so. Uh, and you can see up in, in, at the hill, at the top of the hill, you can see the first houses he moved from uh, villages from surrounding area. And I think uh, there was three or five houses at first. Now you have Dozens. They move the homes here? Yeah, uh, those are actual houses used like from 19th century onward. Oh, so these are? These are not, but those, sorry for standing up, no uh, those at the very top are 
Uh, I knew there was something. I yeah. just wasn't sure which ones. Yeah, those at the top, and I think maybe this one, a couple of these here, but I'm not sure which ones. These with this type of roof, see, with the wooden roof, mm -hmm. I think those are authentic. These ones are not, but they are built in the uh, the, like the same style. Yeah, this is like style uh, unique for the, this area here for Western Serbia, this mountain area. Hey, thank you for the backstory, and we'll try to see if we can find uh, find this movie with uh, English captions so we can. I'm see pretty what sure about. we can find them. Super. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Like taking a walk into the past. So this was all built as a movie set. It's a neat little place. It sure is. So in some of these buildings, there's actually like hotel rooms where you can come and stay. And look at the beautiful views over here. And I'm not just talking about Julie. But look at those mountains. It's a mill. Yeah, he won all kinds of awards for doing this village and this, this movie. And it was really an impressive thing he took on. We're coming up here in the mountains. We're looking for this railroad station. Isn't it beautiful here? Man, this is so much like being in Aspen or in Colorado up in the pines. And Definitely. So here's the train station up here in the mountains. Here's the restaurant. And the track's going off that direction. Returning to downtown Zlatibor, we made it in time to see some traditional dancers from various countries around Europe, as well as Africa. There's an Egyptian team that was here dancing for everybody's pleasure as well. And it is a free show that they're putting on here in Zlatibor. And there seems to be something free going on entertainment wise throughout the summer. So now as a reminder, Julie and I were traveling the world with our two dogs, trying to see what it's like to live in different countries and sharing our experiences with you. Zlatibor is a beautiful place. There's a lot of pros, the environment, the entertainment, the people, the cons. It is pricier than many places that we've experienced through Serbia and in our recent travels. If you're looking for something like an Aspen type of lifestyle or Colorado, uh, being in the mountains of Utah, this may be something you're looking for. It is definitely going to be less expensive than those regions. Now we hope that you've enjoyed the video. We'll hope that you give this video a like and that you'll subscribe to our channel and join us on our travels. So until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.